here's the formula that relates present and future value where R stands for the annual interest rate and T stands for the number of years. Now if we instead want to use the exponential version of the formula, it looks like this. Future value times the exponential raised to the negative R times T. Now, if you're thinking these formulas look pretty different, I could take that first one at the top and I could rewrite it as future value times 1 plus R raised to the negative T. And now you can see that these two formulas look very similar. Suppose you want to have $5,000 in your account six years from now and your account earns 9% interest. Let's calculate the present value of that $5,000 if it's discounted annually. Here's my formula. I'll plug in 5,000 for the future value. I'll plug in 0 0.09 for my interest rate and I'll plug in 6 for the number of years. The present value of $5,000 is $2,981.34. Let's calculate the present value of that $5,000 if we discount it instead monthly. I'll use that same formula, but I'll have to make a little substitution. I'll take that annual interest rate, the 0.09, and I'll divide it by 12 to put it into a monthly rate. I need to do a similar manipulation with the time and take 6 years times 12 months to get 72. So those will be the values I plug into my formula. That 5,000 remains the same, but now I'm discounting monthly, giving me a present value of 2,000 $919.62. Let's do the same problem, but let's calculate at a continuous discount. We'll use our new formula, future value times e to the negative rt, plugging in the 5,000, the 0.09, and the 6. Working it through my calculator, I get $2,913.74. Comparing, when I take that $5,000 and I want to know its present value and I discount annually, I get the $2,981. When I discount monthly, I get $2,919. And when I discount continuously, I get $2,913. So the moral of the story here is the more frequent the discounting, the smaller the resulting present value.